Parkinson's really is it's kind of like a disease where you feel uncomfortable in your own body. You just you just not you just not comfortable with 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 where your arms sitting at night when you're sleeping, or you're not you're not comfortable sitting in a chair. You know, it's, it, it, it's nothing nothing seems right with your body. I didn't think I could run when I first was diagnosed. I wasn't I wasn't sure I was able to. I, I actually I tried running. And at first, and, and I found I, at that time I couldn't run. I couldn't run without without pain in my shoulder, and and, and I couldn't swing my arms, so my form was awful. So I, I kind of gave up. Humans have known for a long time that there are benefits associated with physical activity. Uh, I think now we are. It, now that we're sort of in the molecular age, we're better able to interrogate why. We know, for example, again, in, in the tiny nematode that we study, that we can expose the animal to a sublethal form of stress. Um, and as long as it's able to recover, it actually extends the lifespan of the organism and improves its ability to withstand future stresses. After I started running in 2014, found that I could do it. It was just a revelation to me that I could I could still still run that far. The running has really made me made me made made a big difference as far as my Parkinson's symptoms. I think I I still have moments when I you know I have an hour where, where I have dyskinesia where I'm moving a lot. So, something like I'm doing right now. But with the running, I found that when I do have my good times, I feel more normal than I have for, for years. To hear that Michael believes that his condition has sort of improved as a result of running, it doesn't surprise me, um, but it's, it's very good to hear because I think that's, that's a very promising thing and, and something that we want to encourage everybody to be doing is, is, is things that are going to help offset. Um, the effects of aging. And you got to push yourself. You got to push beyond beyond what you what you think you can do. Because because it's it's like forced exercise. You you, you gotta you got you, you may not feel good at first, but if you can push through through that through that first barrier, it, it eventually you, you, you get you get to the place where where you can where you can do it. You know, it's, if you limit yourself, you you just you might as well just pack it in. I think I think you, you just give up, and it's too easy. It's just it's too easy to give up. You got you got to make yourself do it. I think right now we we are living in sort of a a magical age compared to any other time in history. There's so much promise and hope now that we didn't used to have. I definitely feel motivated when I hear uh, about stories like Michael's. Um, this, it sort of puts the pressure on. I mean, you know there is this, this human element. The other pressure is to just keep the lab running. And right now that is, is a major factor uh, in this country. It's a major factor in our ability to carry out research. There have been a lot of labs that, uh, around the country that have shut down in the last several years because of sort of stagnant funding. That's why it is so important that we have multiple uh, sources of, of funding available and, and it definitely puts a much greater importance on um, private donations because they have, they have right now the ability to really powerfully influence the rate of discovery and the amount of research that we can do. Because the, the only thing that really limits us and limits the pace of the research is, is the money. I think the awareness of what Parkinson's does to people will help, help, help raise funds for, for research. So I'm, I'm willing to put myself out there just to raise funds and see if we can get a cure for this. 
because I've got a, got a grand, brand new grand, granddaughter who was born about a month and a half ago. And if there's a genetic link, I don't want her to have to deal with Parkinson's in her life. I want her to live a, live a full life the way she wants to live it. And uh, I believe the, the road to different therapies and eventual cure to diseases like Parkinson's begins with institutions like the MDI Biolab.